top 10 phone apps for technology, productivity, content, creation, creativity. These are specifically on the iPhone, but a lot of them can be found on a Android operating system phone. On Twitter, I asked you guys, what are your top eight apps that you have been using recently? And you guys just responded with so many tweets. It was pretty epic to see that some of you guys are still playing Pokemon Go. And what I noticed a lot is a new game show app called like HQ Trivia and plenty of other things. But the most consistent were messages, Snapchat, Instagram, and Facebook. But for this video, I am going to to share my top 10 apps that I use for just life in regards to productivity and content creation. But let's start out with number one, and it's a very basic app, but it's one that I discovered a very clutch feature in recently, Instagram. I'm on Instagram a ton, but I just use it for consuming and then posting uh, some pictures and video from my life. But I figured out a feature that honestly I didn't know existed, but it's been around for a while. It's a way to treat Instagram kind of like a Pinterest. I've never actually used Pinterest, but I find a lot of inspiration and things I want to save for reference later on Instagram, and you can actually do that within the app. So the Save feature, they actually introduced something called collections, where you can organize the content from Instagram that you dig. So just today I created clothing inspo. I only have one picture saved, but I'm definitely going to be filling that up. And then spaces. I love creative spaces and offices and things, and so I put places that I vibe with in here. The fact that this feature lives directly into Instagram is amazing. Speaking of Instagram, my number two app is a app called Unum. Unum, unum, unum. If you are very particular about your Instagram feed, this app allows you to plan it out and see how your feed looks and adjust to the content that you post. So I think my feed looks pretty cool. I like punchy contrast and saturation, but if I wanna see the next Instagram that I'm gonna post is going to fit into my feed, I can upload that picture. We'll just take this picture of John, we'll say done. And then you can see how that looks like within your feed. Does that fit? So this is fantastic if you do the tiling on Instagram where you have three pictures is equal to one or the block of six pictures is equal to like one graphic or something. This is very good to plan that out. So I'm gonna keep going with this idea, saving images for reference. If you guys like to create mood boards IRL, so literally taping pictures and things to the wall, you're going to love this app called curator. So basically what this allows you to do is create a mood board of text, images, links, and add it to this massive board to reference to later. I haven't played around a lot with this because I just discovered it, but it is a fantastic tool to send maybe a mood board to a person or maybe a client you are working with or someone you're collaborating with. Okay guys, we're doing good. We're doing good. Four down, Six to go. The next one I'm going to mention is Expensify. If you are a freelancer of any type, it is so important to keep track of expensive. You buy a camera, you are a videographer, so you're using that camera for work. You need to expense that thing for taxes, so you can write it off. In Expensify, you can categorize your expenses uh, based on trips or certain time periods. So it is a fantastic way to get organized, and you can also attach receipts to certain and transactions. Up next is Office Lens. If you guys are still scanning papers into computers, what are you even doing? This app allows you to take a document. I'm going to find a document. I'm going to set this document on a flat surface, take a picture, it's processing, and boom. It crops it perfectly into a rectangle so it looks like you scanned it and even if it's a little off, you can go in and correct it. So now that I have this beautiful document, I can save it and send as a PDF or email it straight from here. Next up is an app called Breather. Let's just take a breather because I'm realizing going through 10 different apps is a lot. Breather is kind of like a Airbnb, but for office spaces. You can rent them by the hour or by the day. I just discovered this, but this is something I might utilize if I ever need to film certain things and I need a new aesthetic, maybe a new background, I'm collaborating with someone. And if I only need it for about two hours, there are a lot of affordable options. So I see this from the filming standpoint, if I just need a space to film, I see it as very affordable, but it is obviously super clutch for meetings if you need to bring a team of people together. These places are 
is static. Yes, heck. The next app is kind of out of right field, but I've kind of been into cryptocurrency lately and blockchain and all of that fascinating technology. And I've gotten the question a lot, what exchange do you use to invest into cryptocurrency and trade? The app is called Coinbase. Here, the main coins, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. Now, I'm not gonna go into the app and show you all of my financial info, but trust me, the UI is beautiful and if you are new to cryptocurrency and all of that, this is a good place to start. The next app is Gboard. It is a keyboard that has made my iMessage experience better. So here I'm bringing you into my riveting conversation with Jonathan Hill. We're talking about what kind of ladder should we get for the new office. This is what Google Keyboard looks like. You can Google something right in the app and then push up the results to the message. So I'll just hit share and I can send that to show him the closest lows. You can get the search results from Google, YouTube or Google Maps. But my two favorite things about this app is the swiping. This is so cool. And then you can use the bar to scroll through the specific text. This is just me holding down the space bar and it allows you to navigate throughout the text. The swiping to text is so handy when texting with one hand, I can barely type normally now. My second reason why I love Gboard is GIFs are right here, the you know drawing is right here, but you can search emojis. So no more scrolling around forever to find that one emoji. Let's see. New York and you got all the New York stuff. and consumption of books and podcasts. So coming in at number nine is the podcasting app Overcast. Usually I listen on Apple's native app, but with their update, the UI and UX is just so clunky. There is no hierarchy to it, and it's just, it's confusing. It takes about four clicks to get to anything. So that's why I have chosen Overcast, some podcasts that I would recommend. If you're curious, uh, is Masters of Scale with Reid Hoffman. He formerly co-founded LinkedIn. A few others open for business and startup with Gimlet. Anything Gimlet does is amazing. So the podcast open for business and also startup. Recode Decode is also a fantastic one. And last but certainly not least is the Kindle app. For a while I was trying to force myself to sit down and read from a physical book because they look so cool. It makes you look smart, but it just didn't happen. It's very difficult for me to read out of a physical book, but it's so natural for me to have my phone in my hand. So it was like, Sarah, don't fight it. Just read books on your phone. And that way you can also highlight parts that you dig, write notes and save them to PDFs or other forms of notes. It makes reading fun. It's so fun. It's really fun. And shout out to Kingston for sponsoring this video. I have been using my Kingston Bolt a ton. On my keys and it is a way to have removable storage for your iPhone. There is a Thunderbolt on one side and a USB to the other. You can plug it into your phone, move photos video over to here so it frees up storage on your iPhone or you can shoot just directly to the bolts. I made a video about the Kingston Bolt. You can check it out right here and all of the information is in the description below. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I am moving into the studio soon. I'm so excited. John, are you excited? Yeah! So I am thoroughly excited, going to bring you guys on the journey, but for now, let me know if you like this video. Thank you for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button down in the description below. Until next time, guys, stay peachy. Okay, bye!